Hi guys, it's Peter and welcome to our channel. And in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, IDE interface adapter for Amiga 500. Also, it will work for 500 plus, 1000 and 2000. And it's quite neat adapter. Pretty much it comes with uh, IDE interface for 40 pin hard drive and 8 megabyte internal uh, fast RAM. Pretty much here you can see I got 11 megabyte due to my Amiga has some modification. And it's running on a Kickstarter 1.3, which I was really want to achieve that goal to see if I can make it, everything works and install it a game on an internal hard drive. Uh, so far I got one game which does run and uh, I got other bunch games which I kind of working in the process to install it properly. I'm running some issue where you have to create an icon for game to be run properly. Otherwise, it will, you, you will not see it on the hard drive. Um, but it does, like I said, let's see. Uh, it, it does work. Uh, I'm, I'm, quite, I'm quite happy. Yeah, yeah especially, especially like I said, it's running from internal uh, memory card. Well, internal hard drive. Let me open it and I will talk a little bit more about that adapter, what kind of problem I did run into. In that case, you will, maybe it will help in your path. Pretty much here's my Amiga 500 Plus. It has some modification with pretty much, I kind of like saying with all belt and whistles. It has a power switch on the system, internal power supply, which I really like it. And here's that adapter ID uh, interface with uh, Actually, I, I can I, let's let's run it because we're not gonna touch it. And uh, currently, it's running on a SD card. In original configuration, when you buy it from Amiga Store EU, uh, you can get just adapter itself. Then you can add that uh, extended adapter for uh, socket uh, for Amiga 500. And it's not a board uh, relocator like you you can get with some other. Uh, I mean in ID interfaces or with accelerator uh, like terrible fire uh, when you buy it from uh, other places uh, and they come with uh, relocator here's just extra socket uh, 60 uh, 6800 uh, processor socket you just put it in and then you put it that adapter otherwise it will not connect properly uh, pretty much yeah you can get just adapter itself also you can get with uh, 1.3 uh, Kickstarter modified here here it is because regular uh, 1.3 Kickstarter will not see it interface uh, regular uh, 1.3 uh, Kickstarter it never come with uh, SCSI interface built in you have to have modified one and also you can get the additional option you can edit it's a CF card compatible with this adapter and pretty much you're gonna ask me what's so special about the cf card adapter uh, there's many cf card adapters on the market but you have to get one with power if you buy it one without power it will not power it because it's a 40 pin interface not 44 44 laptop style uh, hard drive interface do have internal power pins this one doesn't pretty much required power on the back anyway when I received my adapter, put it everything together, I make a little video. I was so excited to uh, uh, you put it a card, uh, format it, and start playing, start putting some games into. But first, when I start uh, using the card, of course, I, I did use it the most trusted, my four gigabyte card by Transcend. I know this card work on any my another Amiga on Amiga 3000, Amiga uh, 1200, 600. It did work no problem. When I plug it like that, prepare it card on the computer first, then plug it in, plug it to this adapter, and use it a workbench uh, HD tools from uh, two, 204. It does it does recognize it card. You can make it partitions, but then when you reboot it uh, to format it uh, partitions, 
it, then that's when it will crush it and will not see this partition anymore. Pretty much I did, did go over and over. I thought, well, maybe it's a two gigabyte, a little too much. And some people saying, do not use four gigabyte. Some people pre pre prefer to use a two, two gigabyte or one gigabyte card. I tried with 256 and this one, I believe it's a 512 or so. And actually, uh, I tried this and I tried those two first. Didn't work. Then I found that this guy, unbranded, kinda. And this one actually, let's see. No, actually it's a 256, I'm sorry. Not 512. 512 I got somewhere else. And this guy did work. For my surprise, this guy uh, with uh, HD tools uh, the 204 did work. On the rest of them, I even tried it. I find it on forum, people complaining about that too. There's one guy saying, well, you have to use it, modify it, uh, HD tool to be able to format properly your card. I did get exactly the same HD tool what he's talking about and it didn't work. But on this card, that modified HD tool did work and also a stack uh, HD tools from uh, 204 does work as well. And at that moment when I got successful uh, formatting, part I mean making, creating, partitioning, and formatting on this card, I asked myself why I decide, why I'm going hard route with compact flash card if I switch it all my Amigas to SD card. SD card is less headaches, more convenient to use, you know, and guess what? I bought adapter, same thing with power adapter for SD card. I try it and, and guess what? Every single card, what I put it, I got here a bunch. Every single card works, no problem. And uh, like this one is a four gigabyte. Uh, there, I mean, on my Amiga, there's a, uh, two, uh, two partitions. One is a hundred megabyte. Another one is almost uh, 3.7 or so gig, uh, gigabyte partition. Works, no problem. I mean, uh, it boots the way it should be. Uh, does recognize it. Like I said, you don't have to use it any fancy, fancy HD tools. Uh, I did use it from an uh, installation disk from 2.04. Works, no problem. SD card, like I said, it's pro in my opinion, it's the best way to go. I did use it, uh, I'm, I'm using currently on my Amiga 1200, on Amiga 600. Yeah, I used to use on Amiga 3000 as well. Yeah, with a uh, Budu card. Yeah, works really good. Well, guys, pretty much that's all I got for this video. I hope it was interesting, enjoyable. If you guys did enjoy it, thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any future videos, subscribe. We will really appreciate it. Thank you.